Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, I don't normally look like this, I promise. <laughs> My name is Marta, and if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I post a ton of videos. I only painted one hand. I post a ton of videos um, doing like makeup looks, hair looks, vlogs, and clothing hauls. So if any of those interest you, go ahead and subscribe. Today we have our first Halloween video of the season. I've been dying to do this look uh, for months now, months and months and months, and that is the Gamora from Guardians of the Galaxy. I love her. She is so badass. Like, freaking, she's the best. Um, I was inspired by this wig that I got which I'll show you guys later and I have a discount code for and it's so amazing like it's so freaking soft this look honestly wasn't that hard so you guys will see how I completed this uh, please comment below what other looks you are interested in seeing I do have a list though of things that I'm going to be doing this Halloween but here's the first one Gamora so if you guys want to see how I completed this look then just keep on watching Oh, so this is what we're working with. Mm, we got some gym hair going on, but we're gonna swap it out for a wig. There's a lot of online stores that have wigs that I love, and I wanna share one of them with you. This brand is Dona Love, or Donna Love, Dona Love. And I got this amazing lace front wig, because lace front is always the best. I have not touched this wig yet. I have not even attempted to put it on. But look at this beautiful, <gasps> it's in a net, hold on. Oh my gosh, is this not perfect? Look at the shine of that, but it's not like a fake looking shine. This feels like real freaking hair, literally. Oh my God, it's phenomenal. Okay, so I'm gonna throw this bad boy on. Um, I do have a discount code, it's just Martita for 25% off. Oh my God, I can't stop touching this. This is the softest wig the bottom too is just literally perfect I'll also put the link to it below so you guys are not like you know lost on the site because there's a lot of wigs but get a little wig cap with it she cute also you know what's cute the scar on my face i destroyed a pimple the other day and it's just not happy about it whoa I'm actually gonna cut the lace off now so you just take some scissors and you cut the lace off as close to the hairline as possible all right guys so I cut all the lace off I'm gonna flip my head down and throw this on just so you guys know there are adjustable clamps so if you have a tinier head you can make it fit your head but I do not have a tiny head so I probably don't need to use them so I'm just pushing the cap back and bringing the hair forward. And we're going to use lash glue to tape this down. Woo! In the case that I got, it had this brush with it. So these are the best brushes. So now it's time to glue it down. So I have this Ardell lash glue. There's probably actual wig glue, but we're not going to use that because I don't have any. So I'm just going to... Lift it up and then paint, whoop, paint all under here. Lace front wigs just look so good. We have our wig, so let's start the makeup. All right guys, so for this look, I'm gonna be using this face paint that I got on Amazon. I will link it below for you guys. It wasn't too expensive, but I definitely wanted some high quality face paint. This is by CC Beauty. This came with so many brushes. Look at all this. Look at all this. I'm gonna get the biggest one <laughs> to do my face. Clearly her whole face is green. So the first things first is I'm gonna take my Smashbox primer. I've always used this primer, but coincidentally when looking up the best like primer to use for face paint, it said Smashbox. And I was like, oh my God, I have that, that's perfect. I'm wearing a turtleneck to avoid the amount of green that I need to do, but this is a turtleneck that I don't really care about, so I don't care if I get it green. I'm not sure if this paint needs water. It does not need water. So we're gonna go ham with this green in here all over, kind of just like an even layer. I wonder where I should start. I think I'm gonna start at my forehead just to get this over with. So I'm gonna like gently scrape it underneath too because I have to make it look like 
my skin underneath is also green. This is like a little is going a long way. This face paint is awesome. By the way, I do not have sensitive skin. So if you like need um, face paint for sensitive skin, I don't know if that is this. I have no idea. You can read the uh, reviews. All right, I'll be back in a minute when I finish this. Well, wow, wow, wow. What I wanted to do real quick is to put, because if you can see the hairline is still skin color, like my skin colored. So I want to, um, I think I'm going to get, I think I have a green in this palette. This is a Amazon palette. Yeah, it has green in it. Ah! I'll link this below, guys. I feel like I should be in Wicked. I think I'll try to find gravity. You will bring me down. Oh, oh, oh. I guess just mix the two greens. Yeah, we'll just mix them. Mixing the two greens together. And that is going on there way better. I want to put a green hairline and this is like flat so it's perfect just dab it in the green that's looking so more real I think that's as far back as I want to go I don't know should I go more should I go further oh this is so freaking cool guys I do have a translucent powder it feels so weird that my hands I will paint my hands in the end Translucent powder. I'm gonna get this old beauty blender and we're gonna test it on like the neck, but I'm just gonna see what would happen. Not much is coming off. I think that's what I need to do. And then contour with powder. So that's what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm gonna set my entire face with setting powder. I still feel like it's better than it being super sticky. So I'm going to, uh, I'm deciding to, yeah, that feels way better. I'm going to set my entire face and then we'll move on to the eyeshadow to do the contouring, the eye makeup, and all the things. Okay, that was a really good decision. We have a little bit of off coloring happening, just slightly, but it's okay. Oh my god, sorry, I wish you guys could see the ends. I'll back up in the end, but, um, so anyway, time to do some contouring. So, try to find a brush I haven't used in a long time, this one. Um, so I can go in with this dark. Now that we have, it's all powdered and it's not cream anymore, we can go in and do some contouring. So I'm going to take that and go into that. These are really content, uh, pigmented, um, powders. I actually, I'm going to dab some off. Dab some off. She has literally the cutest nose ever. And make sure this is straight, Okay. Straight, straight as an arrow. And then you just kind of brush it up, brush it down, make it look as natural as you can. There's a, um, a shimmer green. And that's what I can put on my lips. Cause she has like shimmery lips. It's like she's wearing gloss, you know? I like that she doesn't have big lips because I don't have big lips, so we can have similar faces. That is so cute. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know that that was going to be in this palette, so perfect. Now time to go into the contour areas of my face. Trying to draw like smile lines. Oh, this is looking good. I look like an alien. Glammed out alien. Hello. I want to get a very pointy brush to do the very bottom of the um, contouring because then it makes it look really round and her, she has nice cheekbones, so... Just makes it a little tighter and then going around. It's kind of like wherever you would put contour normally. Under the chin, I'm going to take a smaller brush. This makes the lip bigger. 
And then she has a really pronounced Cupid's bow, so I'm going to put that in the center. Dark shading in the center, so that's more pronounced. I'm going to put some around the sides of my nose to make it look a little bit bigger. She does have a wider nose than me. Cool. Now, like I said, for brows, we really need to make these disappear as best as we can. <laughs> when I smile, I look insane. Okay. Next, we need to do kind of like a cosmic smoky eye. It's hard to tell, but she definitely has a smoky eye kind of into a cat eye look which is my favorite. So you figure out, if you have hooded eyes, just open your eyes and like touch where the hood starts and that's where you need to make sure your makeup goes up to. It will make the hood look worse if you don't. Yeah, these eyeshadows are amazing. It is so easy to play with eyeshadow when there's already like powder everywhere. Yeah, I'm gonna do a faded liner smoky situation because I feel like if I put actual gel liner, it's gonna look too much, too much for her. She's not really like that. So I'm just gonna take a flat brush, dip into the black color, and focus it on the outer edge. I don't know if you And then I'm going to take the black and the green and I'm going to swipe it underneath the waterline. This is a super easy look, you guys. You just got to paint yourself, really. Anyone can do this. Anyone can do this. I think my whole family wants to go as guardians. Like, everyone be a different character. Like, to be the raccoon, you just make raccoon eyes. Like, make yourself real cute. I'm just using so much Smashbox today. This is my third Smashbox product. It's the Smashbox uh, gel liner, and I'm going to put that in my waterline. We really need to cover up anything that is normal skin tone. I'm going to throw on, this is a NYX mascara. I've never used this before, so let's see how it is. Oh, it's pretty nice. And I am going to throw on false lashes. You still have to do the final touch, which is all the little drawings on her face. I'm going to go quick with that. Yeah, I put mascara on before my false lashes. Come at me. I'm going to use these Ardell lashes. They're super big. Do these fit my eyelash? Yeah, they're pretty fine. I always want to roll my lashes. Here, I'll use this so I can look down. All right, guys, lashes are on, and I think that really helped complete this look. Um, now I just have to do the lines, but I am first going to get a flat brush and put that shimmer green right on the center of the lid just so there's a little bit of movement in the middle. I'm also going to put it in the inner corners, some added glam, maybe... The Cupid's bow. Oh shoot, look at that. Time to get this silver color in the corner there. And get a detailed brush, whoa. A detailed brush, but kind of one that's also a little bit flat. So something like dish. And we're gonna draw on her lines. So the first thing she has are two lines over the eyebrows. It's kind of like one goes here, and one goes on top. Just winging it, people. Can you see that? <laughs> we got one line done. Trying to really get that to go over the eyebrow, but it's fine. It's brightest when it reflects the, um, the sun, the light, you know? It's tough, man. It's just writing right through 
The green. I need the silver to stick. There we go. There we go. It's fine, kids. We're working with what we're working with. And she has kind of like rhombus looking shapes um, on her forehead. So kind of like straight lines down. Swivel down and then go up. Another line. So on the cheekbones, there's a shape that goes like this and then it goes out. So probably be better with like a eyeliner, like a silver eyeliner. If you guys can get a silver eyeliner, that'll probably be way better. Okay, and then they have a squiggly line that goes right through lines up top. I'm just trying to show you guys that anyone can do this because I literally don't know what I'm doing. <clears throat> but I'm doing okay. It could be so much worse, you know. It's fine, you guys. It's all fine. We got the lines. We're good. Woo! Okay, guys, let's take the hair down and do the final results. So this is the final result. I painted one hand <laughs> just for the after shot. Um, but obviously, if you were going out, you could paint both hands. But I just painted one. But um, yeah, I really come closer to you guys. I really like how this look came out. I honestly thought it was really easy. Just paint yourself and then contour like you normally would, but with green, do a simple, simple smoky eye, just some dark green shimmer and some black eyeshadow. And the only thing though that should have been done is I should have glued down my eyebrows and painted over them so they were poof gone and the reflex of the silver could have been better as well. But overall, Pretty happy with it. This wig is ridiculous, you guys. You guys, oh my god, it feels like normal hair. Um, obviously, it's not laying super flat because I didn't really um like hang it up, but I also just have a ton of hair under this, so it bulges out. But yeah, again, I have a discount code for the wig. Um, it's Martita. I'll link it below. And then the paint and the palette, I will also link below. They're just Amazon. And uh, this look is so cool. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. So anyway, I hope you guys like this video. I have tons of Halloween videos coming to you. This is just number one of like seven, so, or eight. Yeah, so stay tuned, okay? All right, I love you guys so much. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and I will see you in my next video.